Welcome back to the channel. This is a quick review of the Seiko 10 inch quantum gauge. Seiko was kind enough to send me one uh, to test it out and do a quick review. I was running away in my bathroom so it came in handy a couple of times. It's a really nice quality build, uh, comes with detailed instructions. Although the tool is so easy to use you don't really need to read the instructions but they're there if you need them. The tool comes with the Allen key and we'll show you that in a minute how to use that as well as there is a locking mechanism at the end that locks the pins in position and I'll show you how to use the locking mechanism in a minute as well. The pins are pretty thin, they're about less than a sixteenth of an inch which is good, that will get you some really nice and accurate profiling with this contour gauge. When you take the contour gauge out of the box, the Allen key will be taped to the tool. And you use the Allen key to tighten or loosen the tension of the pins and the two holes at the end of the jig. And basically you put the Allen key in the hole and turn it clockwise to tighten the tension of the pins or anti-clockwise to loosen it. It's a personal preference how tight you want the pins to be. Also notice there's a wedge on the uh, contour gauge and that's useful so you can get into tight corners uh, depending on which way you use the contour gauge and again it may take a while to get used to it but once you get used to it you know you can use it whichever way works for you in the situation. Here just an example on a base molding how to use the contour gauge. I've locked it into position and uh, the profile is very accurate as you can see. So you can see really gets into the corners that's really accurate profiling right there. And like I said once the uh, pins are locked the pins are not going to move. You can tap on them but they're not going to move. And here's a real example that I used the contour gauge for when I was tiling the bathroom. I lined up the edge of the contour gauge to the edge of the tile, uh, a new tile, and then basically marked where the holes are going to be. And then you lock it into position. Now I don't have to remember the position of the holes relative to each other. And as long as I have the same reference on the tile, I can make the holes accurately. No, I'm not sure if this is the proper way to use the contour gauge, but it worked out for me and it was a useful feature for me. I just lined up the edge of the contour gauge to the edge of the tile, push it down, lock it into position, and basically I know the distance of the hole I have to make from the edge of the tile. Here's another example when I was doing the floor of the bathroom. And again, same thing, lined up the edge of the contour gauge to the previous tile, basically. You push it down, lock it into position, and you got your profile for the next tile. And finally, here's a, just an example if you're working on wood flooring and you need to cut around a uh, door jam. Just use the contour gauge, lock it into position, take it to your flooring, mark it out and cut it out. Of course if your cutting is accurate then the uh, wood flooring should fit your door jam accurately. Thanks again to Saker for sending me the tool to try it out. If you're in the market for a contour gauge, I highly recommend Saker's 10-inch uh, contour gauge. Thanks all and we'll see you again soon.